Hey guys, this is the Gaming Robot and I want to welcome you back to the Birch Forest Railway. We're currently sitting at Village Station. Don't know whether that's a permanent name, but it sounds pretty cool. Um, or Village Terminus, because I, I feel like I want to end it here and then work on the scenery around it. Anyway, that's a discussion to be have, had with my inner self later after this video. But for now, what we're going to do is behind me, as you can see, what's going on here? Oh, okay. Behind me, as you can see, is the GWR King Class Steam Loco. And um, if you did watch the last video, you will know that um, we took this train, as you can see, formed of five coaches, from the shed station to the village terminus, which I'm actually kind of liking the name. Um, so in this video, what we'll do is we'll be doing a return journey. Now, I did record this video before um, and included the branch line station, which was like Land's End, as I, as I dubbed it. Um, but the audio um, cut out like a lot and then there was a buzzing noise coming from the loco and I hope it's not in this video because if it is, well, it'll have to be third time in the charm. I hope. But if this, if this isn't the case and you are seeing this on YouTube, yay, I got it in two. So what we'll do, like I said, is we'll go from Village Terminus down to Shed Station and, um, but first, we've got to run round this loco. Right, I'll just come out of the boiler. Oh, the side of the loco, never mind, that works. Um, so first, actually I just need to get up. I'm perfectly organized, do not worry. A couple of backs set to shunting mode. Boom, get up there. And here we go. Let off the brake, actually no, I used that for a good start. Just a bit. There we go. And here we go. Right. I'm breaking. I guess. Oh, that's breaking. We'll work on that. I am working on like a technique for good stops slash starts. Anyway, so. Um, within this video, I'll just be talking about the construction of the railway, the plans with it itself. Um, and for starters, this head shunt does go into a cutting. Um, and if this doesn't get called Village Terminus, which I want it to be, and I do plan an expansion, most of this cutting will be gone. And um, if this is just a Village Terminus, this will be a head shunt. Um, and then I'll probably expand the platform right out to River's Edge, cut out all of this, build a massive station building with like um, a Hunslet just standing on tracks as like a statue of the railway. So it will, and it will probably have like a glass roof and everything. Um, but that is all for um, a conversation with myself, again, because I'm lonely, um, about it. Right, let's just put it up to here and then slowly begin to pull away. There you go. Whilst that's doing that, we went to first person and um, we can do flyby shots of this, I reckon, but right now I've just got to set the points so we can run around properly and I've also got to make sure. Come on. There you go. Fruit is such a struggle when you've got trees all over the place. So yeah, a lot of t a lot of my time spent building this railway was terraforming and cutting down trees. So I think I've become a professional logger, Minecraft logger, in all those times. Um, I think we can just is that stopping? Yeah, that's that need that's slowing down a bit. Hang on, come on, speed up a bit. Not that much. What I forget to do once we pulled off for a good start is to um, take off the brakes. Otherwise, yeah, that happens. It's just really slow. 
This is the only part, I think, where I can do a good first... Hello, sheep. Good first person, um... While still being able to look down the track. Come on. Almost there. Almost there. So yeah, I suppose I can tell you what my plan is for the railway. Um, the line, as far as I consider it, is done, in my opinion. It, we don't really need to do anything more with it, otherwise it just gets tedious because I'm going to build stations and then scenery. So what I'll do is I'll say, for now, at least, the line is done. Um, it's expanded as best as... Well, no, it's not expanded yet. Um, but the line is done, and then I will just work on scenery, reworking some of the tracks so it looks better, and um, rebuilding some of the buildings. The station needs to be widened to have a three-block gap middle, which allows for a realistic curve on the point, as I have been told. Um, that some of the curves do look unrealistic, which I agree with, so it's all good. Right, I'm going to couple up. Steady. That's it. Nice and good to like. And hopefully, if I've done it right, we'll just be able to roll into the station. Oh, I think I missed. Come on. Where's the coaches? There they are. Okay. So, we have the right of way. All of my passengers that are not on are on, and my guard is giving me the whistle. He's, he's right down there. You, you can't see him, but he is there, and yeah. Just squint. You might be able to make out a green flag. Anyway, jokes. Here we go. Ah, oh, bother. I thought I coupled. Ah, uh, I've still got such a shunting, haven't I? Excuse me. Noob mistake. Got sent this to normal mode. Right, we'll try that again, shall we? Live videos, ladies and gentlemen, where anything could happen. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Right. Oh, okay. Passengers are already on. Guard's giving me the whistle, but I accidentally pulled away, so guard will give me the whistle again. I will reply. And hopefully we should pull away relatively smoothly. Okay, screw that. We'll pull away with a start. That's fine. We do have to get some speed up here, so it's all good. Not a problem. Move, chicken! Yeah, the mobs in this game are so dumb. We do not put animals on the track. I've had to fence off the whole area around the shed just to stop animals from walking onto the track. They can still spawn in the grasslands, I can't do anything about that. In the grass areas. But at least they can't at least they can't walk on the tracks. It's either I put a perimeter fence around the outside of the shed and hope that no animals spawn with inside the perimeter fence, or I fence off each track individually, which is gonna take a long time and something I will not have the patience to do. So now we're going to start climbing an embankment. You can see we're already losing speed. So we're just going to increase speed until we get lucky. Come on. There we go. Now we're doing a nice steady few miles an hour. 
17 miles an hour and increasing. You can hear the loco working hard. It doesn't help that I put on initial braking. So that's, yeah. Come on. We got some speed. Keep a gentle control on the throttle, he says, as he, as we end up going a little bit on it. I do try to keep to heritage standards, but with the branch line, that's just not possible. The incline that it goes up makes it the oh, wrong way. Wow, I am choking. Climb makes it impossible to go up at a steady speed. I've lost sight of the loco, that's not good. Oh, there it is. Makes it impossible to go up at a steady speed because um, of the incline. Yeah, so what you end up doing is 30 miles an hour the first incline, get to the corner, um, increase speed a lot, and then um, the way I choke it, and I'm not. I'm, yeah, this isn't the technique to use, but the way I choke it is I end up letting off the throttle once you get to the curb because I think it has enough speed to go up. It doesn't. We end up rolling all the way back down. And I made that mistake in the previous recording, um, previous attempt to record this. But, so, um, I think what we'll do is, yeah, I'm going to have to disobey the speed limit. I mean, it is my railway, and I think it's relatively safe once I've got all the scenery and details and stuff done. But for now, we just need to keep a constant and consistent speed around about 25 miles an hour-ish. Oh, and there goes some chunks. I did fly up and down this track before pre-recording, just so I could load in more chunks, but apparently that doesn't work, so great. Fun. Keep the speed. Whistling for no good reason because I can. There it goes. Letting off the throttle. This should allow us a nice coast into middle station. Should. Now I've got to get my stopping distances right. Eventually I'll mark it with like a fence post or something where to stop for the best gauge. Also going to move over to here so I can see the coaches coming in this side. I can fully stop in the station as I discovered previously. A bit more acceleration, nothing too drastic. I'll pick up some speed. There you go. It should just be able to post nice and gently in now. Should. Still go. Bit of breaking on. Nice and gentle like. And we're all good. Now I can just walk up here and run. Run fast. Fly fast. Because flying is more efficient. Damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Seriously? I thought I said I could fit the whole train. And by whole train, I meant the five coaches. Right. Time to correct my error again. Mm. 
almost there. Does that work? I apologize for my terrible driving. Yeah, that works. I'm sure they can step. Pick up your feet, people. Right. Not that that was any use because we're still going. So at this point, like I said in the first video, needs to be lengthened a little just to fit in the whole train. It's possible, but I'm not sure which end to... Oh wait, no, I've already decided I'm doing it from that end. Okay, well, that was a completely invalid reason and pointing topic. Right, here we go. Hope you guys are all on, because if you're not, you're going to be left behind. Mwah ha 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 ha. to the sound of that chugging. Okay, we need to pick up a bit more speed because we've got an incline coming up. I need to stick my head in, otherwise I'm going to get bunched. Bunched by a block. I have noticed that I did build this railway. It was like on impulse, so I never really checked for inclines and stuff like that. I was just like, oh yeah, I'm laying track down, and we laid, we laid the track down. Um, well, I, I laid the track down. The we isn't just you and me, the viewers. Um, the I is me, the builder of this layout. For now, I do want to open it up to server and just help get things done quicker, like terraforming and such. And that's it. Good speed going up that hill. That's it. Nice speed. Nice speed. A bit more acceleration. Just keep us going. 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 There you go. Nice. And the passengers are none the wiser that we went up an incline because we went up at this speed. Alright. Now, as we go through the tunnel. Um, I'm trying to lose as much speed as possible to keep under the national heritage line speed limit. And come on, come on. There we go. I think the best place to hear an engine working would be the incline from Village Terminus into the Tundra. Um, there's also the branch line, but I'm only sending an N2 tank up there. Nothing else is going up there. Um, I might also pull a smaller rake of coaches just for... So I don't have to go up so fast and it's not too heavy for the loco itself. Because the N2 tank is, is a tank engine more used for shunting than it is for passenger services, heavy passenger services. Come on. Keep it going. Steady on. Here we come into Shed Station. Name, as usual, is in work in progress, which is like most of this railway, so I don't know why I keep saying it. You've probably gotten used to it by now. Going, keep it going, steady up, steady, steady. Sit now, let off, Got the coast. We messed up a little too soon. Sit nice and steady as she goes. Apparently we're stopping that, which is cool. 
Uh, the big thing is, did I get all of the coaches in? No, I don't think I did. Oh, it's close. It's close, but they're in. That's awesome. I mean, I would pull... F I'm probably going to pull forward a little bit more. Oh, wait, no. No, I probably shouldn't because I'm also in the loop, so... Okay, well, this has probably been a good 20 minutes of... It is actually a good 20 minutes of me literally just rambling about the railway of which I have created. Um, yeah, so this has been... Firstly, this has been the Gaming Robot touring the Birch Forest Railway um, line. And secondly, um, if you do enjoy the content that you see here, um, don't forget to leave a like. It tells me what my viewers like and don't like. Um, and if you do enjoy me as a person talking to you, the viewers, just making content and whatever stuff um, happens within the video itself, um, why not subscribe to get more videos on a regular basis, maybe. Um, so, yeah, this has been The Gaming Robot. I want to thank you very much for watching. Signing off.